we are honest with ourselves, we'll admit to ourselves that the way we conduct ourselves in front of our friends, in front of uh, uh, our, the, 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 the church, in front of whoever it is, is different than the way we conduct ourselves at home. The way we speak to our partner or, 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 or our children or our parents in front of people is different than the way we treat them at home. On the outside, many appear so beautiful, just like the whitewashed tombs, but how are we on the inside? Now, I pray, I hope that all of you here are beautiful, washed, and white on the inside like you are beautiful, washed, white on the outside, right? But I'm just taking, I'm going on lemon here. I'm, I'm just taking a chance just in case some of you live on this planet and struggle with uh, 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 the rest of humanity struggles with. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm bringing this topic up. Please don't misunderstand me. Don't think I'm trying to put you down. I'm not. I love you like, like, like a son. I love you like a brother. I love you like a father. I'm, I'm not any better than you in any way. And because I'm like you, because I know we are all in the same boat, I'm sharing with you what spoke to me. Am I a Christian at home or am I not? You see, the reason we behave differently in front of our friends is because we know what is right and what is wrong. We force ourselves to be nice because we know it is the right thing to do. It's, it's usually, with, with someone who is in that situation, usually this niceness is not coming out of, a, of, of, of the heart. It's not coming from uh, uh, the internal world. No, it's, it's, it's our own effort to put on a nice face because of selfish reasons. We act properly because we are worried about our image. What will they say about me if, if, if they see that I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing that, if they see that I'm eating that, I'm drinking that, I'm saying that, I'm wearing that, or, or whatever it is, right? Whatever it is. This kind of, of kindness is motivated by selfishness. It is our works. But when the true me appears, it shows a different face. And the truth of the matter is that we all want to be better Christians. Every one of us in here want to be better Christians. We all want to be a, a, as real and true Christians at home as we are anywhere else, right? And so many times we are tempted to think that if, if I was able to be nice to my wife or my husband in, in, in front of my friends, then I can be nice when I'm at home, right? If I can wash the outside world and make it look nice, then by rights, I should be able to wash the inside and make it look nice as well. So what we do is we apply the same principle that we used for the outside. We apply that to the inside. We determine to be nice at home. I, I don't know if, if you've done that, but, but you know I've done that in the past. Uh, and you know what? It works. For a while, it works. With our efforts and, de and determination, we can be nice, and sometimes this niceness can last a while or a short while, right? So is this the inner peace that Jesus promised? Is it this, this determination to, to, to uh, live and speak and, and do things differently than what the internal part of me wants to do? Is this the peace that Jesus spoke about? If any of you tried it, you will know by experience that it is not it. Because sooner or later, you will lose it. Sooner or later, something will happen that makes you lose this determination. And you will say to yourself, you know what? That is it. I've had enough. I'm going to let them have it, right? You see, on the, on the outside world, you have the selfish motives forcing you to be nice. What will they think of me? Your quest for a good reputation is controlling your behavior. 
but you don't have that at home because you know that whatever happens at home stays at home. You know that if you are rude to your wife or your husband or your children or your parents, they won't tell on you. No one will know. Our Christianity at home is the real revelation of what is in our hearts. I could be the mightiest preacher or the nicest Christian ever, but if my Christianity at home is not real, I am no more than a washed, washed, uh, rather white washed tomb. Now, this is serious. This is the reality check of our eternal destination. Make no mistake, brethren. What you are at home is what you are on the inside. And it is on, it's what's on the inside that makes the difference. It's one, what's on the inside that counts. So the question is, what can I do to be a real Christian at home? What can I do to inherit eternal life? And as I was contemplating on these uh, uh, thoughts, I, I read the verse in rather the passage in John, in John chapter six. And let me read it to you. John chapter six, verse 26 to 29. Jesus answered them, truly, truly, I say to you, you are seeking me not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaf. <clears throat> Do not work for the food that perisheth, but for the food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give to you, for on him God the Father has set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do to be doing the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that ye believe in him whom he has sent. But this, that particular time when I read it, I heard silence and peace. When I read the words of Jesus in verse 29, where he says, this is the work of God, that ye believe in him whom he has sent. It was as if the world around me paused for a moment. Now, I, I, I pray that you will contemplate on this text in your own quiet time and hear the silence and peace.